meantime, I would like to start uh, because we have a really... So what you spend now, we will save later. And we'll we also need to use these frozen Russian assets. We should be asking ourselves, what are the things that Putin dreads us from doing? He dreads us cutting off uh, the oil and gas and the hydrocarbons. He dreads us going after these frozen Russian sovereign assets. And I hope as a very minimum at the G7 this week, we can agree that we use the interest from the frozen assets to roll up an enormous loan for Ukraine and the money can flow way uh, before we get elections in America in November. Italy, the, the, in the next days. The three billion pounds, four billion euros, that we'll be investing in defense for Ukraine, that is this year, next year, and every year in the future for as long as it takes until Putin is defeated. And I think that's the approach we've got to take, making sure this money is not just this year and next year, it's how long it takes, whatever it takes, and the battle for the future, this reconstruction of Ukraine, is in, the, in many ways, it's the thing Putin most dreads. A generous contribution uh, to reconstruction, and as we've already said... The first strategy for the recovery, for the reconstruction, is to protect Ukrainian infrastructures, uh, Ukrainian buildings, through air defense system. For this, I want to inform you, Italy is ready for sending a, a new military package with something for air defense of Ukraine. Today, we will sign a memorandum uh, with the Ukrainian government. The second news is a new package, 100 40 million euros, of course, for action on infrastructures, on railways, on health, agri-food sector, humanitarian sector, and also on the mining. This is the new, this is the last decision of Italian government. Country, not only for the last uh, two decades, but especially since uh, the last two years.